A St. John's County teen is awake and talking after suffering a serious head injury when he fell from a golf cart yesterday. 14-year-old Luke Tabor was in a medically induced coma last night, so he's making progress. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning has learned the driver of the golf cart could be cited. She's joining us live near the scene of the accident with an update on the investigation. Allison. Tom, it's very possible because that driver was in this 30 mile per hour zone while he was driving that golf cart. Now it was here on North Durban Parkway where it happened. Now all of St. John's County all over, there are neighborhoods like Palencia and Nocatee that are golf cart approved, but county officials tell me this Durban crossing neighborhood is not. A 14 year old boy is recovering from a head injury after falling off the back of this golf cart. Deputies say six children were on the cart and someone set off a firework. That's when Luke Tabor's friends say he got startled. His head hit the road. A friend of the family posted this message from Luke's mother on Facebook. It reads in part, he's awake and talking and asking a lot of questions as he's piecing together the events of the day. He's still in considerable pain, though it's being managed by medication. He just keeps saying, I never knew so many people cared about me when we share everyone's encouragement with him. Please continue to pray for his recovery. So far, the outcome is nothing short of a miracle. The sheriff's office says this is the third golf cart related incident involving a head injury this year. I couldn't believe it, like another one. These golf carts just make me very angry. We FaceTimed Kathy Borsity and her daughter, Olivia Love. The Nice High School student is in her final two weeks of intensive speech therapy after falling off a golf cart in January. Are you ready to come back home? Yes. She's made incredible strides relearning how to walk, and talk. It's going to be a really long journey, but she is doing awesome. She works really, really hard. Good, She's in um, this oh, intensive yeah. program. It's five days a week, five hours a day. The family is sending prayers to Tabor and his family as he recovers. And just a reminder, St. John's County does have an ordinance that says no one under 14 can drive a golf cart. Also, you need to check if your neighborhood is golf cart approved. Reporting live in St. John's County, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.